It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Sunday the 27th. But keep in mind that that's just a date. This can resonate at any time, whenever you watch it. Maybe a couple days out, you never know. And this reading may or may not be for you. This is just an energy that I am picking up on for the 28th. Did I say 28th? I did. 27th. Well, 27th, 28th, right? Twenty seventh, twenty eighth. Ooh, yikes, yikes. Uh, physical touch is important. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a, t than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a, giving a hug to someone who needs, needs it. As you can see, I'm having a hard time talking. I don't know why. Um, now, 4 plus 7 equals 11, which is a, is a divine number, right? It's a master number. It's where two people become one, right? Eventually, right? Physical touch is important. So I feel like today is a day where there is going to be a lot of touchy-feely, depending on whether you, you know, follow through. Um, it's important. It's important to, you know, tender loving care. It's important. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. That's funny. That makes me smile when I look at that card. It does. It's like he's just taking her hand and kissing her hand and being so gentle but she's a little skittish you know she's like are you sure if you take a look at her face she's like are you sure you really want to do that you know are you I mean she's letting him she's letting him do it but I think she's a little hmm. what do you got up your sleeve perhaps I'm not sure what she's thinking she's just like I think that she's uh Maybe a little taken aback, right? I don't know. Whew. Twenty seven. There's definitely some sort of sadness going on here, right? I mean, there is. There is. The Five of Cups is sadness, grieving, crying, crying over something, and discontent. I mean, the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups, discontent, I mean, unhappy leads to crying. I mean, there's definitely some emotional discontentment here on, the, on Sunday. You know, somebody could have said something mean or done something mean, very harsh, brash. There could have been some harsh communication that came through, some troublesome communication, something happened, maybe a fight, maybe an argument, I mean, something at home, maybe, something, yeah, I don't know, let's get some more cards. Yeah, there was a fight, there was some sort, or some sort of altercation, or something happened, something is happening. Jeez, some crow, it's heavy. Oh my God, what the hell has happened? Somebody may need a pat on the back. Somebody may need some emotional support. Something is painful here. We have, we have like a very painful situation. There is no joke, this is a painful situation. My heart is starting, or my heart is starting to close up. My chest is starting to get heavy, and I'm, I'm not smoking, so you guys can't say that it's that, 
okay so it's uh, very painful it's like a cut right through the middle it's like a, a bleeding and you look it's right through the rows and it's funny I have to show you what I did I, it's in the garbage now but this is crazy shit okay I was sitting here earlier playing with my roses I just took this out of the garbage. I threw it away, but you take a look. I mean, it looks very similar. I was just peeling them back, peeling them back. Look at that. I mean, right through the middle of the rows. And I just was sitting here for a good couple minutes playing with this rose and opening it up, opening it up, opening it up until finally it was just so wilted. It was like, it was time to just throw it away, right? It's dead. So, I mean, Painful, very painful. Somebody is feeling some pain on this day. Somebody may have given up a fight and walked away, left, moved, gone. They have just may have made the decision to, you know, stop pretending and now there's a bunch of tears and crying over it. Yeah, somebody is absolutely moving on. Somebody is making the decision to, to move in a new direction. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. There's a cut here and it's painful. It is painful. It's like there's no more indecision. The decision has been made. The decision has been made to be honest even if it hurts. There's going to be some painful communication that comes through because somebody is... Uh, made a decision. Somebody has made a decision to move on. For good. They have. There's no more growth. There's no more growth there. None. Somebody has made a decision that there's no, it's over the partnership, the, the whatever, it's over. The union, it's over. They've made the decision that there's no growth. There's no growth. They don't see any future there. They, it may have been a set. They may, in, and whoever, whoever is on the other side may have felt like it might feel like it's their fault, and that's why there's so there's so much pain, there's so many tears, there's so much grieving. They may feel like, you know, I wasn't worthy enough. I I didn't do good enough. I didn't put in enough effort or. Something like that. That's. I don't think that's the case. I think this person's mind has probably. This person probably his mind was made up. They just needed to take that stand. They needed to master their emotions and put themselves in their driver's seat and actually move forward. And the other person might feel very emotional and feel like that's selfish. You know, that's selfish. That's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. But it's life isn't fair. So I feel like there's been somebody that has made a decision to move on from a relationship maybe move from home move move out of a situation that was too dramatic a lot of drama a lot of fighting a lot of bickering because they can't deny that they're not happy there anywhere it's like i can't deny it anymore it's like and it could be a sudden decision with that two of swords it could have happened suddenly where somebody makes a sudden decision to just face their fears and go to get in their vehicle or to whatever, just go. So somebody may make a sudden decision to just head out. And it looks like, and that is the decision being made. It's painful. It is painful. It's like a cut. It's like, a, it's, it's very painful. Um, because it's time. The time is now. The time is now for this this to end. It's time for... A new chapter, right? It is. It's time. That's all I can think of. It's all that this is. It's all I can hear is it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. This is a karmic change, of course. This is this is like a lucky break. It really is. It's gonna bring you closer. It's gonna bring you closer to your life's purpose. It's gonna be bring you closer to. What is what you're meant to be, where you're meant to be. It's actually a lucky break. 
It's going to bring you something good. This heartache that you're going to experience, whatever it is, maybe you're experiencing now or it suddenly happens on this day, this heartache, this pain, this is painful. And I don't care. You can't pretend. Any reader can try to fluff it up all they want. This is a painful situation. That is no joke. And this is happening to bring you something better. You know, you, I've said this many tr times. True suffering, real suffering brings true growth. It does. There's a chapter, there's, there's a phase in your life that is ending. And, it's, and it is ending to bring you into the next phase, which is going to be better. I think you know what this is. And I think that you have been probably anticipating it for a while you know it's like you didn't know that this wasn't coming you did you knew that this change was coming you did and you knew that it was going to be painful and you knew that it was going to be emotional and and now it's here to be dealt with and you're probably going to feel like it is definitely unfair this is not what you wanted this is um definitely not making you happy it's unhappiness I'm not happy about this not going to be happy not somebody is not going to be happy about this change that is happening it's going to be emotional I have to tell you I think it's going to be an emotional day for some of you and it's going to be unfair it's unfair it is there's going to somebody is going to see it as being unfair It's a karmic situation. It is. We have but the karma. It's a karmic situation. A karmic debt is being paid off or being dealt with. Um, somebody is losing a situation. It's like losing. Um, there was a lot of selfishness involved. There was a lot of. Uh, ego in the way, um, a lot of materialistic issues here, you know, people, somebody was staying in a situation for materialistic reasons, um, there was, there was happiness at one time, but it looks like, like I said, ego was in the way for sure, somebody is finding the strength See, and now one of them is covered up. Somebody is finding the strength to let go of a partnership and go their own way. And that is the case. It's like that one, the, the, one of them, one of the birds flew right into that lion's mouth and is gone because of something has happened. Something has been, is gone. It's like it's been killed, you know, eaten, whatever. You know that the other the other bird like flew right into that lion's mouth. Got got eaten, got taken. By ego. The, that lion represents ego and pride. Ego and pride got in the way. And swallowed up peace and happiness. That ego and pride swallowed up peace and happiness because, you know, it did. And now somebody has to find the courage and the strength to let go because it's too late. It's already gone. Once it's gone, you can't bring it back. So... Anyway, there's a, somebody has, is making a sudden decision that may seem like it's unfair and unjust and it's selfish and it's cold-hearted. It may seem like that. But this person has to defend themselves.
They have to do what's right for them. And this person sees that there is no more growth in this situation. And therefore, they're not putting in any more effort. They are giving up. And they're closing their heart. And they're walking away. Somebody is walking away from a partnership. And I can't make this shit up. It's painful. It's heartbreaking. It's like... <laughs> I don't know where this came from. It's like sudden cardiac arrest. Not that somebody's going to die. We don't have the death card or anything here. That's what I heard. We don't have the death card, so don't freak that out. You know, that's what it's like. It's like all of a sudden... My heart is broke. And I'm forced to move in a new direction. But it's like you knew it was coming. I think you didn't know it was coming. You did. So let's get one of these. This is crazy stuff. It really is. Answering the call. Answering the call. The time is now. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready, or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now, you've been called and a gateway is opening for communications from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. Son of a gun. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it is now time to act and go forward. And you know that. You do know. You knew this was coming. Spirit is trying to get your attention Spirit is trying to get your attention right now. Your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Do it now. Your time is now. That's what it says. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready Believe, trust, trust. Follow the signs. There will be many. And miracles will abound. You're headed to a better place. It's time to answer that call right now. Good luck. 